So a slight problem with the heat shrink tubing on there and uh, the soldering joints, the uh, wires are a little too fat to fit through the existing hole in the bottom of that capacitor can. So what I need to do is take a drill and uh, just enlarge that hole a little bit, ream it out a little bit, and then I'll be able to pull the leads through enough so that uh, that capacitor will fit in there and then I can close up the can. Okay, got the holes big enough, or the hole big enough to fit the leads through. So you can see some of that heat shrink tubing insulation sticking out there at the bottom. That's okay. And the capacitor is in, and it fits in the can right there. So, and there's plenty of space around the capacitor, so it's not touching any of the wax that's in there. In order to, to keep the can together, once I put it together, I'll use this tape. I tried to find some metallic tape at the hardware store, but everything was too wide and too big, too much. I'd never use all of it, so I just decided I'll just use what I have on hand, which is this uh, acid-free artist tape. Um, masking tape would probably work just as well maybe even duct tape, but I'll just use this since I have it handy. So there we go, the uh, can is closed up, put the tape around it, trimmed off the excess and it's ready to reinstall. So the ground lead was connected to the chassis, or the negative lead was connected to the chassis with this little uh, clip that was screwed under the clamp that holds the can capacitor in place. I just found a new one out in the garage in my spare tools, so tool chest, parts chest, and just crimped a, crimped a new piece onto the wire and secured it. So the negative lead is now connected. Now for the positive lead underneath the chassis. So the positive lead comes under the chassis right here and is connected to this uh, tie point right here. So I'm going to try and pull the old wire out, stick the new wire through there, and reconnect it to that tie point right there. Try and make it look and run the same route as the original. Well, I was trying to get the wire out of this sleeve and it turned out that this was a protective sleeve because there was a three-point connection under there and one of the wires, while attempting to pull a wire loose, snapped it and it's right here next to this coil. So it's going to be fun getting in here to reconnect <coughs> the positive lead to the can capacitor to these two connections here and this third one over here and then to put heat shrink tubing on here as well. So I think what I'm going to do is snip this red wire, this new red wire, shorter, use a piece from this to replace this since this is cracking right here, and reconnect these three points to the uh, positive of the electrolytic. Okay, I got all the wires reconnected and got the shrink tubing in to prevent any shorts from happening. Looks nice and clean. Time for a lunch break. So next on the list of the electrolytics is um, Capacitor number 56, which according to the paperwork is a 12 microfarad. And I was going to put a, a 10 in there, 450 volt. But I didn't want to go below 12, so I dug through my capacitors and I found another 22 radial. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. And that'll replace this rogue 
capacitor that somebody installed underneath the chassis. Once it's in the can, it'll go above the chassis and uh, clean up this uh, area here, make a little more room available. You can see I've already got the wires inserted through the hole there and my shrink tubing ready. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the uh, capacitor and close up the can. Again, the negative lead will be the black, the positive lead will be the red. And I'm going to replace this lead coming off here. This will be the negative. So I'll have the black lead run over from the hole here to connect over here since this lead is too short. I don't want to have a, have a splice in the middle. Okay, you can see I've got the uh, capacitor attached and the shrink tubing covering the wires. So it's just going to go like that. I'll put some tape on it and then it will be installed in the uh, clamp on the top of the chassis. Okay, the uh, 12 microfarad cap replacement is installed and I, you can see that the uh, large one that was here is gone and the new one is wired in. This uh, flexible resistor right here or this this resistor right here it's supposed to be a 9k ohm resistor at 2 watts and it measures at 14 so um, that's more than 20% over specs so I'm gonna have to replace that one but I don't have a uh, comparable value in stock in a 2 watt rating so I'm gonna have to run to the hardware store and get some in the next day or two but I should still be able to snip the leads here and uh, wire the new one in once I get it without having to take anything else in here apart again. So now it's off to the third electrolytic which goes in a can above the chassis again and it goes in right here right about right next to the other one that I just installed you can see the hole right there and there's already a capacitor replacement capacitor that was wired in there and that one was just connected to chassis ground and you can see the positive lead coming up here through the chassis so that'll be connected to the new capacitor okay just so you can see how things are going I got the wires connected to the uh, replacement capacitor put it through the hole in the bottom of the uh, cut off bottom of the can and the positive lead is connected to where the replacement was and part of that the original going under the chassis there and I've got the negative lead right here the ground has to be connected to chassis ground and in this can over here you can see it was connected through a uh, tab that I crimped onto the wire and that was connected to the clamp, the screw that holds the clamp. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. You can see there's a hole right next to the clamp right there. So I'm just going to loop that black ground wire up through that hole and do the same thing over here and connect it to the screw on the clamp and that will ground the negative of the uh, capacitor to the chassis. Okay, all the electrolytics are installed. I got this one connected and grounded like it's supposed to be. 